Let me finish tonight with Rand Paul's unique attraction to Republican voters. His libertarian views are a big part of it, of course. Another which grabs me is his opposition to the war hawks who dominate the think of his party. Except for him, the game seems to be back the next war, whatever it is. You back the war with Iraq, the knocking off of Gaddafi, the effort to knock off Syria's Assad, and look forward to blowing the hell out of Iran. There's always another war in the queue, so let's get to it. Well, listening to Senator Paul tonight, you heard a different voice, someone who believes that the average Republican voter out there might well hear his message and like it. We'll see. The great thing about an American presidential campaign is the effort to find the country's sweet spot, to intuit the national sentiment that will convert a campaign appeal into a presidency. Kennedy had it in 1960 with his promise to get this country moving again. Obama had it in 2008 when he came out against the Iraq war. If Rand Paul becomes the Republican presidential nominee next summer, the reason will be basic. It's because he and he alone connected with the country's deepest urge, which is to end the endless call to Mideast war. And that's hardball for now. Thanks for being with us. All in with Chris Hayes starts right now.